Hello everybody, this is Garden Fairy. Welcome back to my channel. This is a video 5 of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition series. This is a basic learn to play type series where I am teaching my way of playing the game. Before we get started, if you like the content and you would like to see more, click that subscribe button and that bell icon to be notified of each and every video that I upload. If you would like to support my channel, please see the description down below for my uh, PayPal and you know, feel free to donate however much you want the uh, money f that is go uh, raised from this channel will be put back into the channel to bring you even more gaming content you will be able to choose different video games that I have to go ahead and get if it is within my style of games I will let you know if it is not I'll go ahead and I'll play a little bit and let you know what I think and if I happen to like the game after all then I will go ahead and I will add even more videos of those uh, video games that you choose so without further ado we are going to continue going through Bleak Falls Barrows if you want to see more of uh, Bleak Falls Barrows or anything else, uh, please feel free to look back at my channel and see my other videos from the beginning. Here we go. Alright, we have just went through and added a few things into this chest to make sure that our weight was down. So, we have 62 out of 305. Remember, if you go through and you do what I just did and add some uh, items from your uh, inventory into a chest when you're in a place like this, be sure that you remember to go back, otherwise it can uh, be a pain in the butt. Okay. We are just going to run through in three, two, one. Oh, that would have been why we were in sneak mode. All right, now we are going to do a quick save. And we are going to finish going through. Oh. All right, now let's see what that is. Hmm. I guess that was supposed to be... Huh. Uh, that was supposed to be for some Draugr, but I don't see any Draugr. quick. Search the Draugr, get everything off of the Draugr, and once again, what a Draugr basically can be considered is a zombie. However, there is a big difference. The Draugr does not try and kill you. doing the 
charging approach on this one. Not a hundred percent sure why, but I don't know. It just kind of seems like. Fun. I normally don't play like this. I'm a bit more cautious when I play on my own, but for some reason I feel like being adventurous today. So, well, technically tonight. What I am doing is basically just doing a rush through so that I can get you to White Run because I want you guys to see some of the features of White Run before I get to where I end up going to bed. So, remember, check everything. Save often. And have fun. Try new things. Don't let life, especially in the current situation that the world is in, bring you down. You can do it. Alright, this looks good. Nothing hidden over here that you're able to get through. They designed this so that you are not able to move this. Bethesda had a big, big reason for putting it like this to where you were not able to explore the entirety of the catacombs of Bleak Falls Barrel. There is a reason why everything is set up the way it is. And because I love the gameplay as much as I do, that is the whole reason why I am playing vanilla, as most people deem it, with absolutely positively no mods in this gameplay. Now I'm going to save it real quick. Now also, I will uh, remember, I will be adding Creation Club items. Creation Club items are items that they have decided that they were going to go through and they were going to add after the game was actually made. These items do not count as cheats, so to speak. They do not count as the uh, um, they don't count as mods, which means they will not stop you from getting your achievements. So, if you are a player that likes to get your achievements, excuse me, like I am, you don't have to worry about whether or not you're going to end up losing your possibility of being able to get the achievements. Because that's not how this one will work. 
Recreation Club does not allow for you to not get your stuff. You will have your achievements. Now, after you mine, if you do decide to mine, make sure to quick save. The difficulty does tend to range a little bit, but generally it does stay close to you and your level. Now remember, I do not like to use the... Uh, I don't like to use the two-handed weapon. 
remember, even though you get experience, even when you break them, find the sweet spot. Sanctum, and here we go. There's the auto save. Look around. Absolutely nothing. So
those are supposed to be dragons. And that right there is the dragon boat. Now, on each of these, there is a There's the key hole. The dragon claw is the key. Each of those you will end up seeing. You have to go into miscellaneous in order to get it. Alright. Now, click to zoom in. But those three right there, those three symbols are what is needed in order to actually unlock the door. So, what we are going to do is we're going to turn these rings. Because this is like a combination lock. getting shocked. You see how it lines up? So activate the key. that is able to shout at you. And I mean the very first one that you come across where you end up getting a shout yourself. There are two chests hidden on either side. So what I am going to do, I'm not going to do what I normally do, because I actually have a bit of help with me, but what I am going to do, Get the word of power. to bring up our 
more stamina. And even though I'm in the middle of a fight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my smithing and make it to where I can actually do things with steel. Dragonstone right here is what we are going to need to take to Farangar in uh, White Run, but it's Dragon Reach White Run. Now, what I'm going to do here is something that I haven't done before, but it will more than likely help. I'm going to store these items here. while I go and get the items from the chest. Okay, this is the very first one. Uh, open it up. Other one. Is over on the other side. I'll be getting that stuff here in a little while. But I am going to be doing something, like I said, that I have not done before. With this one. And right here is the other chunk, and it is not locked. So we're going to take those. Now, what we're going to be doing a little differently here that I have not done before is I'm going to go through, especially since I don't really have to worry about any thing at the moment, I'm actually going to click that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back through here to pick up my stuff instead of having to do multiple trips just to get back. It'll take a little too long for me to go back and make like three trips. So, I'll just grab everything. Sorry, I know you guys probably don't like it when uh, YouTubers spin it, you know, change their mind or don't finish your sentences. I tend to do a lot of both. So if that's something that's gonna end up getting on your nerves, my channel is probably not the one for you. And though I will hate to see you go, I would rather you have the content that you want and need and have you stay and watch my channel or donate via PayPal to improve my channel which is uh, going to be listed below all you have to do is look at the description and the email that you see 
purebloodrose at gmail.com is the exact email that is used for my PayPal account. And it does not matter how much you want to donate. It could be a dollar. It could be five dollars. It could be fifty dollars. It could be five thousand dollars. Every donation means the world to me. Excuse me. And every donation will be used to improve my channel and my channel content. Ah! Now, this is going out the back of Bleak Falls Barrow. Going out the back, we will see something over to the... Uh, left hand side the left hand side is going to be a a potion I just don't remember which one potion of true shot now there is not anything over on this side, however, if we want to, we could go up a bit. It looks like there might be something interesting up there at some point, and unfortunately I was wrong, but there is a fairly safe way to go down. So, quick save after we've started. And over here, it looks like we have come across some mammoth bones. I hear some, uh, dotting, so to speak. I don't know if it is going to be coming out at us or not. It kind of seems like it's a skeleton. And right over here <coughs> is an ore. So, let's mine the corundum ore. That has been depleted. Okay, now. Hmm. I will probably be adjusting it where uh, the uh, music does not overdo any of the other sounds within the game. for that as a possibility in the future. If it is something that you would actually like me to do and turn the volume down on you know, the music here in Skyrim, please feel free to leave the comment below and I will take it into account when I make the decision.
And eventually I will be uh, going out to try and see if I can find that body that slid out of uh, my grass. Let's see, there are fish here. Never a bad thing to catch some fish. Mm. Eh, we'll just keep walking over this way. Now, because we are so over encumbered and we do have to go back to Riverwood, I am staying over this way on this side so that I am able to control my character because the closer I stay over to the side, when I am this over encumbered, I am carrying 406 carry weight. My carry weight is only at 310. So with me being so over encumbered by this, And remember, that's not even everything from Bleak Falls of Arrows that I ended up collecting. But with all of that, I still have way too much. So, I stay over here. I can control where I go for the most part. If you are in the center of the water and you're trying to use the water in order to increase your speed, you're not going to get very far. You will end up getting stuck and you will have to go through and drop a lot of the loot that you have. Now, that camp over there is a hunter. Alright, you can go over there, you can kill him, you can, you know, take his loot, but, you know, I'm not going to bother with that, but I am going to catch that fish. Now. I'm going to save here because we are about to hit the waterfall. That waterfall is going to help to speed us along in where we are at versus where we are heading. It's going to make it to where we end up going there a lot faster than what we would if we were actually just flat out right walking regardless of whether or not we had a uh, you know, bow and arrow out while we were doing this. Now remember, stay over to the edge as much as you can. Hug it. Because once we actually get going, we will have less control over our character. And if we just turn around and go with the flow and let the water carry us, 
anywhere and everywhere, we are going to get stuck. And that's what happened to a friend of mine. She did not bother to go anywhere outside of the center. And she got stuck. And it happened multiple times. Now, here are some more rocks, more water, whenever you see the salmon, just catch it, or catch salmon, catch mist carp, you know, you see, catch, just catch, it'll help, trust me. Now, if you can't go this way, then don't go this way. Go the opposite direction. Or you will get stuck. There are more than one way or two to get through. You see how I sped up? Pardon me. Using the water when you are over encumbered is a great advantage. And as long as you use it correctly, you will go far. It will help you to get where you need to. Even if it ends up being a different village, just so that you are able to sell the water knows. <laughs> this is Nern Root. Very, very handy. That means that we are almost at Riverwood, so it is time to go over on the right side of the river. I'm just gonna come over this way. Let it flow. And let it flow. You see, right there is Riverwood. Where I go, we are going to go. Here we go. Here comes a hero. <laughs> Our uh, character is technically the hero of the game, so why not? It fits. So, we'll come over this way and we will go right up. Right up. There we go, we can walk it right up. Doo -doo -doo. Now what I'm going to do because of the fact that everybody here is still in bed, I'm going to come up over this way, go directly over to where I gotta go. I'm only gonna be getting one chest at a time, which means I will be making roughly two trips to ensure that I end up getting everything out of Bleak Falls Barrel that I needed to. We're definitely going to need to make sure that we have everything that we need. 
so quick check right up this way that barrel is empty which means it was not redone so to speak it did not respawn which means I can go right over this way greeting sister Ellen good to see a familiar face so far from home Riverwood's agreeable enough I suppose for a Nord village I don't think Camilla will be spending more any more time with Sven. I appreciate your help. Please take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Hmm. Now we can take Farewell. him with us. over here take what you need my friend within reason of course weapons Store the dragon stone. Whenever you try, it says that quest items cannot be removed from your inventory. So don't worry about that. We now have 1,076 uh, gold. We will put in the iron ore, the ingots, and the skulls. And we're going to go back to Bleak Falls Barrow. By fast travel. thought that I was going to be at a higher weight than what I was, which is why I'm going through here again. Okay, that one 
one is empty. to be able to run. Remember, avoid that stuff because it's a trap. There are so many movie quotes and stuff that I would love to say, but unfortunately, I do not want to go ahead and risk copyright or trademark infringement. However, if uh, you guys end up seeing my channel, like, uh, Pixar, uh, Disney, Bethesda, you know, any of you end up seeing my channel and decide that you want to sponsor me, I won't mind, and I will gladly throw your company out there as many times as possible. Especially if it happens to be something that I really, truly do like. You know, I can't name a lot of the stuff, but... Yeah. I wouldn't mind sharing some of your uh, content and maybe even being in some of them. This is not me fishing, this is me, uh... Ah. It is me telling the truth. I've had, uh... No. Off that subject. There is a switch. And it controls the same one that it controlled to be able to go out. Well, that we went in. 
So it controls how we go out. There we go. Oh. Just so that you all know, I do love music. I do love acting. I have done both. I have participated in both. I haven't really done anything that is really well known. I have done a cover for one of my favorite bands in a band that I didn't really have a lot of input in. I just kind of went along with it because she was my friend. But I did enjoy singing that song. But, um, if, uh, you end up listening or watching my videos and I kind of get sort of sing-songy or I, uh, sound like I'm doing some kind of a skit. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's just part of who I am. Now, remember, it is okay to game. It is okay to get frustrated with it. Just don't allow it to take over. I, on that note, I am going to save it here. And I am going to sign off. Remember, if you like my content... <laughs> pardon me. <laughs> if you like my content, uh, please hit that uh, subscribe button and that bell icon to be notified of all of my videos that I post to my channel. If you would like to uh, support my channel in regards to, you know, I don't know, making sure I have a um, further 